Good afternoon. A special sporting event is taking place today to remember the life of a young rap musician who was stabbed to death in Birmingham. Joshua Ribeiro was killed by another teenager outside a nightclub last September. His short life has become a focal point for, anti -knife, for an anti-knife campaign and our special correspondent Peter Wilson is at a charity event at Birmingham City's ground for us this lunchtime. Yes, we're live here at the Blues ground for this special memorial event in memory of Joshua Ribera. Now, last year, Joshua was on the brink of music stardom. His stage name of Depsman was internationally known and he had an album at number one in the downloads charts. Then he was fatally stabbed and killed outside a nightclub in Birmingham. His mother, Alison Cope, has organised today's event and joins us now. Alison, what are you hoping to achieve? Um, I hope to set up a charity in Joshua's name and for all the young people to come together. Hopefully this will be an annual event and we can all move forward and try and do positive activities for the young people. I know he often mentioned knives and he was against the carrying of knives in his lyrics. Yeah, that's right. He, he was more about living his life, enjoying himself, being positive and being happy. We're also joined here by D2, who is a member of the, the group uh, Invasion Alert. D2, what really was Joshua's personality like? Why are so many people here today? Well, Josh, Depp's man, he had, he had a lot of charisma. You know what I mean? He was very talented. Obviously, there's a lot of people that, that wanted to be just like him. You know, whenever you're in uh, Josh's presence, you know that you, you just, you, you're in for a good night. You know how to have a good time, you know how to get along with people. You know what I mean? He had, he had a very big impact on a lot of people's lives. People that knew him and even people that just, you know what I mean, knew him through music. You know what I mean? I've, I've missed him now. And, it's... and is that going to continue? Yeah, definitely. His legacy's still going on through his music and um, we're also going to push it as well. You know what I mean? And all of his fans are still there, still behind him and Invasion. Lots going on here at the Blues and we'll bring you a full report in Midlands today tonight. Handing back now to the studio. OK, Peter, thank you very much. A community